coach has talked a lot about this season, about you play all year to hopefully put yourself in position to play meaningful games in, in January and February. And as you get into the stretch here of these last four, how, how does that feel to be playing in those kinds of situations and to know how important these games are at this point of the year? What, what does it feel like right now? Uh, obviously, it's a big deal to us. You know, just come, just from where we came from last year, well, for us, it's kind of a new, new place for us in the Big Ten. But we just want to take it game by game. That's kind of what he stressed. We we got to play a lot better than we did against Penn State tomorrow. And this game is, um, obviously means a lot for where we'll finish up. And we just got to you know do what we're supposed to do. Gary, what do you think? Yeah, same, pretty much same thing he said. Just it means a lot just to play meaningful games again. Just the one that we have coming up on Thursday, just uh, we got to do what we have to do to win the game and win these next three after that to obviously win the Big Ten. Do you guys use revenge as a factor? Is that something that comes in your mind as you get ready for the one team to knock you off in the conference so far? Uh, I wouldn't call it revenge. I would just call it, um, I mean, obviously we're gonna, it's going to be a very highly competitive game. Um, we just have to play a little tougher than we did last time. And just kind of play more, a little bit more together throughout the 40 minutes. We had a, a lot of ups and downs, and that's what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, they're going to test us again. You know, it's going to be a little tough to play at their place, and we just got to be ready to play. We know what Cam coming back gives you guys on the floor, but what does getting Cam back in the locker room and in the practice court do for you guys off the, you know, away from what we see? Uh, I mean, he's been with us on the practice floor and in the locker room. So I mean, but on game day, what does he, what does his presence do for this team, if anything? Um, I mean, it obviously means a lot just having him in the locker room and being around him. I mean, we love him. I mean, he's still our teammate, so we love him and stuff. So it means a lot. Having played at Purdue, three of our last four games now are in pretty hostile road environments. How did playing against Purdue maybe help prepare you guys for what's coming down the stretch here? Um, I think it prepared us a lot. Just uh, obviously, you know, it's a tough place to play, um, one of the toughest in the country, and I think we handled ourselves well. It's not going to be getting any easier, like you said. We just have to stay focused and stay within ourselves when the crowd starts to get involved in the game. CJ, what does a, a starting lineup with with Andre playing out there give you guys to to start off games? I just think it balances us more on uh, the defensive end. Um, Andre's ability to make shots is helps us a lot and defensively we're able to guard a little bit better uh, with him and Kate and JT being able to switch a lot of these screens that, that we have to go through. So it just defensively s s like stabilizes us a little bit more. And Andre, uh, it, it sounds like even with Cam back that you'll you'll still start tomorrow night. Um, just how, how comfortable are you now in that role and, and when you first entered the starting lineup was there any, I don't know, nerves or anything like that that, that came into it and have you still <coughs> settled in a little bit over the last three games? Uh, I've definitely settled settled in. Uh, obviously, the first game I was a little nervous. Just it was different. So just seeing how it would go was definitely a little. I was a little nervous, but I'm more comfortable now. I know you said you wouldn't label tomorrow as a revenge game, but some of the guys have mentioned some of those early season losses. That thinking back, there's a little what if if we played like we're playing now. Do you do you have any of that? Maybe not how you're playing, but how the game went about the first Penn State. I'm not really sure, but I know, uh, <coughs> I don't know, a little over half of the game, we didn't play as well as we could have. And we know that if that happens again tomorrow, then the same result is going to happen. Uh, it probably won't be as close as the first game was if that happens. So we just kind of got to come together a little bit more and play with more of a chip on our shoulder, kind of get that back. Um, and we'll, we should be fine. Uh, I, I want to ask you guys this because I don't know if we'll talk to you again before you play your final home game next week. Uh, It'll be Jay Sean's last game in this building, and just maybe it'll be Kata's as well. We don't know that yet. But um, to be Jay Sean's teammate over, I guess, both of you for a year, almost two years now, um, what would you say that, that he's meant to this program, and, and what's it been like to be his teammate for two years? Uh, for me personally, I mean, it's meant so much just to have his leadership in the gym and off the court every day. It's just, it's meant a lot to me and my growth as a player. Um, I mean, JT's just an all-around guy. I mean, he's just a great person to be around. Uh, I don't really look at JT as like a, like a teammate. He's more of like a brother for me personally. And I know Andre feels 
the same way. We kind of do everything together. We're always together. So it'll be obviously next year when he's gone, a big change when that happens. But I'm looking forward to his last final game for the shot. What did that, that Penn State game teach you guys about uh, what you need to bring on, at the defensive end? Because it seems like uh, throughout the season, especially the Big Ten season, you guys have been pretty consistent, but that was kind of the outlier. What what do you guys have to do differently defensively to try to limit them in ways that you couldn't last time? Um, I mean, a lot of the time it was just one-on-one, -on -one, really. They like to play a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. And obviously they have a lot of, like, real good players, so you're going to get beat sometimes. But we got to focus more on, like, not wanting to get scored on, like, focusing in more. that game because you had some tough games or maybe you hadn't played great but you're finding ways to win did you guys I don't lose lose a little bit of focus there thinking that like you could you could walk, I don't want to say walk through but do you know what I mean like did you, did you feel like the games leading up to it gave you guys a, a little bit too much confidence does that make sense yeah I wouldn't say that uh, <coughs> Guys, you guys have just responded to every single situation that has been thrown your way this season. I mean, a lot of teams might have looked a little lackluster against an opponent like IU after coming off of such a hard game like Purdue. But you guys just seem to have such a laser mindset focus. How dangerous do you feel like that makes you guys like come tournament time here when you're always just thinking about the next opponent, you're not thinking about the last game you just played? Um, I think it makes us dangerous. I mean, the coaches do a real good job of keeping us even killed all the time. The co like, Coach Holtz, he never gets too high, never gets too low, and I think that sort of feeds off to us, just being real steady. All right, DJ. Uh, I was pretty much hit on the same point. Uh, Coach Holtz, he does an unbelievable job at just keeping us focused on the main task. Um, we can't worry about what happened. Thanks, Adam.